Good day, uh, day, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this uh, 14th day of October. It is Friday, and today's topic is titled, The Right to Blessings. And so before we get started on that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. And he too can be your Lord and Savior today if you'll simply humble yourself and call upon him to wash away all your sin. Amen. All right, we're going to do uh, the scripture song first, and then we'll get into the topics for the Baptist bread and boots on the ground, and then we'll do the hymn, and then do some uh, praying for, uh, or give you some information about uh, these people we've been praying for today, and you can write their names down and uh, pray for them on your own time. Amen. So give you their information. So, all right, here we go. Sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. Deuteronomy. 31, eight. And, and the Lord, Lord he it is that doth go before thee, he, he will be with thee, he and he will not fail thee, neither, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Fear not. Neither be dismayed. <clears throat> All right. So put that back to yesterday's, and we'll do those again towards the end of the broadcast. Amen. But now it's time to get into today's topic titled The Right to Blessings for this 14th day of October. And today's author is Brother Guy Goodall. Amen. And he's the uh, pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Hudson Falls, New York. So let me read you what he wrote on this topic here. I'll give you the passage first from Psalm 68, 19. It says, Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Selah. Psalm 68, 19. So Brother Goodall writes here, he says, The great danger of the Christian life is loss of memory, forgetting all that God provides for us. And he says, read uh, Mark 6.52, and think of how soon the disciples forgot, and uh, we forget God's blessings. So let's go to Mark 6.52, and read this passage here, from the book of Mark. So Mark 6.52, Right, so verse 52. Okay, let's see here. Probably need to get some context here, which, uh, so let's see, where do we need to go up here? All right, so this is, uh, let's see. All right, so this is about them being in the ship, I believe, and it starts in verse 45. So read this really quick. And so uh, it says this is after they uh, um, had the loaves of bread, and uh, then they were in the ship. And it says here in verse 45, And straightway uh, he constraineth his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before Bethsaida, while he sent away the people. And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. And when even was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling and rowing, for the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the night he cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them. But when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it had been a spirit, and cried out, for they all saw him, and were troubled, and immediately he talked with them, and uh, saith unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, 
Be not afraid. And he went up unto them uh, into the ship, and the wind uh, ceased, and they were sore amazed in themselves beyond measure, <clears throat> and wondered. Let's see here. Um, where are we at? 52. All right, so 52, which is our passage here. So it says, For they considered not the miracle of the loaves, uh, for their heart was hardened. Hmm. So that's verse 52. So their heart was hardened. <clears throat> All right, so again, uh, we'll read it from the beginning. It says, The great danger of the Christian life is loss of memory, forgetting all that God provides for us. And we just read 652. Uh, so it said, read 652, which I read um, uh, back to 45, so you could find out what was going on there. And uh, think of how soon the disciples for forgot, and we forget God's blessings. David warned, forget not all his benefits. Psalm 103.2 Many believers tend to forget that everything we have is the result of God's goodness, though undeserved, right? So many times we just go about our daily living and tend to forget about uh, what God did for us, especially on the cross and his daily provisions and his blessings and things he gives us. Amen. So, and then we uh, uh, tend to forget it and the result of his goodness, um, though it's undeserved. And so let's make sure we remember that. Amen. All right. In one sense, we have no uh, right to the bounty of the Lord's resources, right? But praise the Lord, he gives them to us once we're saved and have believed on him. And we can use them anytime we want because they're there for our um, use. So uh, we deserve eternal damnation in hell, uh, total and permanent separation from God. However, because of his great love, where it, wherewith he loves us, we have been connected to his riches in glory through the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's Philippians 4.19, the reference, Amen. Uh, so the psalmist asked, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? Psalm 116.12 There is no exchange between God and a saved person that can match his benefits to us, right? So nothing we can do, it's all by what he did. So praise God. We have now the right to God's blessings because of Calvary. The degree of blessing we can have, however, is partially our responsibility. So we can have as much of that blessing or as little of it as we want, as we um, tend to be more responsible and obey him more and fully. Amen. In Exodus 19.5, God told Moses to speak to the people and link his special blessings to their obedience. If ye will obey my voice... And even to this day, he's telling us in the New Testament to obey his voice and just do what he says. If we just simply be doers of the word, uh, life would go much better because it's not our life. It's not our own life anymore because uh, once we trust in him, it becomes his life. But we tend not to uh, think about that too much and we tend to keep on and do what we want to do. And so, but uh, if you will obey my voice, he says... On a daily basis, the believer is accountable to God for compliance with God's word. Uh, that act recognizes God's authority and opens the windows of heaven, thus uh, being in, uh, loaded with God's benefits. We have this right to his blessings, so let's use it. Amen. Let's use it. Praise the Lord. As he gives it to us, so let's use it. And uh, Amen. All right, so good advice there. Let's take heed to it and just do it. All right. Because the more we obey, the more we trust and obey. And there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Amen. All right. <clears throat> so now it's time to get into the boots on the ground topic for today, the uh, 14th. And this is titled New Found Courage. And this takes place on 14 October, way back in the year 1066. And the passage is Mark sixteen nineteen through 20 It says, So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. So, uh, that means, uh, let's go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. All right, so let's get into this topic here, Newfound Courage. On 14 October, 
1066, Duke William of Normandy crossed the English Channel with a combined force of 10,000 Norman soldiers in an attempt to claim England's throne. The resulting battle is known as the Battle of Hastings, and it ranks as one of the most decisive battles in world history. William's opponent, King Harold uh, God Godwinson, uh, who would become the last Anglo-Saxon king of England, had an equal force. The first half of the battle resulted in an English advantage, as Duke William's forces could not penetrate the shield wall the English had formed. Uh, but then a rumor spread that Duke William had been killed, and William's men began retreating upon hearing this report. King Harold seized the opportunity and ordered his cavalry uh, to break away from the shield wall to pursue the fleeing Normans. Uh, William was actually alive, however, and he began riding through his ranks, reassuring his men with a loud voice. Like a football team after a, a pep rally, the Normans turned from retreating and stormed the English positions, now thinned from their pursuit of William's men. The English formation was disrupted when King Harold received a fatal shot to the eye. William and his men defeated the English. He was crowned King of England on 25 December 1066 in Westminster Abbey. History refers to Duke William as William the Conqueror. Hmm. Uh, once William's men realized their king was alive, it changed everything. A much greater joy must have entered the disciples' hearts when they saw their risen Savior. Amen. Rather than cowering in fear, these men went forth boldly, proclaiming the gospel to every one they could. Take heart. No religion has what we have. Amen. No religion has what we have. Our risen Savior gives us newfound courage if we but remember that our King is alive. <laughs> Amen. So, kind of goes along with the other... Uh, Devotional there, remembering, uh, remembering the Lord and that He's alive and that He uh, wants to bless us and give us uh, blessings. Amen. If we'll just obey Him and follow Him fully, Amen. So good devotional there, and they all kind of tie into each other today, Amen. In some way. All right. So now it's time to get into today's uh, hymn, and so I'm not too familiar with this one. I'm, I'm uh, going to play the instrumental and hopefully you'll be able to sing along with it as best I can. So, this is titled, Jesus is the Sweetest Name I Know. Hopefully it's the sweetest name you know. Amen? Because it should be. And this is a spiritual song, The Preciousness of Christ. And this is Hymn 160. We made it all the way to Hymn 160 today. And it's titled again, Jesus is the Sweetest Name I Know. And this is written by Leela B. Long. Uh, who lived from 1896 to 1951. So there's three stanzas here, and then the refrain, but there is no story to this one, so I'll give you the references after uh, sing it. So, again, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. So let me press play and try this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There have been names that I have loved to hear. But never has there been a name so dear To this heart of mine As the name divine The precious, precious name of Jesus Jesus is the sweetest name I know And he's just the same as his, his lovely name and that's the reason why I love him so. Oh, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. There is no name in earth or heaven above that we should give such honor and such love as blessed the name. Let us all acclaim that one glorious name of Jesus. Jesus is the sweetest name I know, and he's just the same 
as his lovely name, and that's the reason why I love him so. Oh, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. And someday I shall see him face to face To thank and praise him for his wondrous grace Which he gave to me when he made me free The blessed Son of God called Jesus Jesus is the sweetest name I know and he's just the same as, as his lovely name. And that's the reason why I love him so. Oh, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, it should be the sweetest name we know. Because it is. And praise the Lord. Alright, so that is the him and now let me give you the references here so stanza one we have philippians 2 4 and then ephesians 1 21 and in stanza two we have acts 4 12 and acts 19 17 and then stanza three we have first corinthians 13 12 and romans 6 22 and the refrain does not have any references so uh, amen but uh that's the end of today's hymn and tomorrow's will be eternal spirit we confess That'll be tomorrow's. Amen. All right, so we'll put that aside there, and we'll go ahead and sing the scripture songs again uh, from yesterday and today, and then we'll, uh, I'll give you the information for the people that were the missionaries will be praying for today. So three more of them. So we'll go through that here in a second after we're done with the scripture song singing. So here we go. Yesterday's James three seventeen. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. That's right. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated. Full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Full of mercy and good fruits. Amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's Deuteronomy 31 to 8. And, and the, the Lord, Lord he, he it is, is that doth go before thee, he, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, thee neither, neither forsake thee, thee. fear not, not, neither be dismayed. And the Lord, he it is, that doth go before thee, he will be with thee. And the Lord, he it is, that doth go before thee, he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Fear not. Amen. So, alright. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and uh, give you uh, these three uh, missionaries that we'll be uh, praying for today. So, we'll go start with uh, the Mustard family. And so this is their prayer card. I know it's going to be backwards on your screen, but you can kind of see a little bit what it looks like. 
and uh, then the back of it there. So, amen. And then, uh, so there, um, the Muster family, and they're missionaries uh, to Sierra Leone, West Africa. And that's Stephen and Rebecca Mustard, and then uh, their children. And again, they're missionaries to in Sierra Leone, West, West Africa. And their information here on the back is uh, says here their um, passage, First Corinthians fifteen thirty four says, "Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God." I speak this to your shame. And then their contact information is Stephen Mustard, uh, Mustard to Africa at Gmail dot com. And then their sending church and support is Cornerstone. Baptist Church at 7 Cornerstone Lane, uh, Carthage, uh, Tennessee, 37030. And then their pastor is Ron Ralph. And so then that telephone number is 615-735-2850. So yeah, if you want to write their name down, the Mustard Family, uh, missionaries to Sierra Leone, Africa. And then next we have uh, um, Jacob and Kirsten Jensen. And they are missionaries to the Navajo Nation, and they are going through deportation right now. So this is their prayer card. Uh, new missionaries there, getting ready to go out on the field here soon, but got to do some deputation first, get uh, some money raised for their uh, for their mission uh, where they're going to be going. And they're going to be going out there to help uh, Brother Joel Haynes and his family out there on the Navajo Nation uh, Reserve there. So that's uh, Jacob and Kirsten uh, Jensen. And uh, they're missionaries to the Navajo Nation. And then we got their passage here from Acts 26, 18. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. Amen. So, and then the back of the card has their um, information here. And this email address is Jensen uh, Stoas. Um, so that's J-E-N-S-O-N-S-T-O-S. -S az at gmail.com and then we got www.navajolandbaptistmissions.com and then the sending church is of course Bible Baptist Church 872 Glenwood Road Deland, Florida 32720 and then the phone number is 386-736-9274 and then the support address is uh, the Bible Baptist Church Attention uh, Jensen Support and then the address is the same. So, amen. And then, um, so that's that information for them. And uh, praise the Lord. All right, so that's the Jensen's to the Navajo people. And uh, then we finally got uh, some of them. And then finally we got the Hoffmeisters. And this is their prayer uh, card there. And the one I have. So um, they are missionaries to um, uh, Trinidad. And... Uh, so I'll give you their uh, information here. Their sending church is Capital City Church, or it's Capital City Baptist, 1300 uh, Reed Street. That's R-E-D-D, -D, I think it's Reed or Red, with two uh, uh, Ds, Reed Street, uh, Austin, Texas, 78745. And then the mission board is WFTWBM, P.O. Box 849, Rossville, Georgia, 30740. And then their Number there is 706-866-8826. And then their field address is uh, Box 3596, La Romaine, uh, L-A-R-O-M-A-I-N. That's two separate words, La, L-A, and then Romaine, uh, R-O-M-A-I-N, Trinidad, West Indies. And then they have their number, which is U.S. number, 512-502-2247. And then 868-375-9395. And then that's uh, email address is James uh, uh, in uh, TNT. So James uh, in Tint. Uh, that's J-A-M-E-S-I-N-T-N-T -E -N -T at yahoo.com. And so they're uh, International Evangelism Crusades, Church Planting, Bible College, and Pastoral Training is what they do there on their mission field. The Hoffmeisters, brother, uh, brother um, James Hoffmeister and his family. Amen. So you can write down the, um, all three of them. Again, uh, we got the Mustard family, uh, Sierra Leone, missionaries of Sierra Leone, and uh, their information and the Jensen's 
uh, missionaries to the Navajo Nation. Amen. And then uh, the Hoffmeisters uh, to Trinidad. So, and then also, of course, uh, continue to pray for Brother Dean and Sister Patty. They are missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. So, amen. All right, now I'll go ahead and give you the scripture song um, for tomorrow and then the topics for the Baptist bread and the boots on the ground and then the hymn for tomorrow again. So tomorrow will be the 15th and we'll be uh, singing Luke 11, 28. It says, But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. That's Jesus speaking. So that'll be tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's topic for the uh, Baptist bread will be titled simply the truth amen and the truth will uh, make you free amen so john three sixteen through 18 is the passion passage so amen all right it looks like we have some other passages throughout the um the um devotional so i'll read those as we go through it all right so that's the baptist bread and then the boots on the ground topic will be titled uh, move on and this ta uh, takes place on october 15 1529 and the passages from proverbs uh, 1911 so that's tomorrow's topic move on from the boots on the ground and then finally we got the hymn for tomorrow which is titled eternal spirit we confess and this is hymn 161 in the psalm psalms and hymns and spiritual songs book and this is written by isaac watts and george birder so do that one tomorrow amen all right, and that's on MelodyPublications.com is where you can order that uh, uh, book there. And then, of course, we got the Scripture Songs book and CDs available on www.DailyScriptureSongs.com. And that's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website and where you can order that or download them, uh, MP3 format. And then we got the Baptist Bread devotional booklets, and they're available online at www.BaptistBread.com or www.TimGreenMinistries.org. And then the second website has other books and materials available. If you see anything else you like, you can order uh, through that website there. And if you order now, you'll get the ones for November and December, the Baptist bread. Amen. And then finally, we got the Boots on the Ground devotional. That's available on the Internet. So you can order that off of an Internet bookstore or a used bookstore. Or perhaps go check your own local bookstore and see if they have a copy there, if they can order, order you a copy. Amen. So praise the Lord. All right, and if you'd like to listen to um, uh, books being read in audio form, um, so I'm doing one on, uh, it's titled If I Perish, a new one I'm doing here. I just started it the other day, so check that out at uh, God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast on Anchor, Spotify, or iHeartRadio. Amen. So, and then uh, some other resources I give you. Uh, we got Brother Ed. He's... Um, uh, does uh, KJV Bible Scope, and he does Q&A every Monday night on Facebook Live, and then uh, does the upload afterwards to the YouTube channel, his YouTube channel, which is the same, uh, KJV Bible Scope, and then got uh, Brother Tim Crotz in his radio uh, program, and you can look him up at uh, Bear Trail Baptist Church um, YouTube channel or Facebook page, and so that's uh, um, another resource there, uh, his videos, and then of course, uh, our pastor, uh, pastor of Bible Baptist Church, Brother James Knox, and uh, his uh, sermons and stuff, and amen. So that's uh, www.jameswknox.org, or the YouTube channel is James Knox Sermons. And type that in, and it'll take you to it. And he's going through the book of Galatians right now, and really good convicting messages there about how to uh, live a Christ-like life and be more obedient to the Lord while we're here on this earth. So check that out from the book of Galatians. So amen. All right. Well, that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.